My name is Kayla and I'm 17 years old. The worst part about chronic Lyme disease for me is the amount of relationships I have lost throughout my treatment simply because people just haven't really understood. I think that that's the worst part about this disease is feeling so alone and not knowing what to do. Uh, I'm 17. I've been sick for three and a half years and I've been on treatment on and off for three years. I think one of the worst things about Lyme disease is the way most of the medical community treats you. They're like, why are you on so many medications? Why are you doing this? You're faking it. You go home with a diagnosis of stress. The hardest part for me was when I had to drop out of school and when I had to let go of the expectations that I had been putting on myself. I think it's absolutely ridiculous that the CDC, the Centers of Disease Control, denies chronic Lyme disease because the average person can just go on the CDC website, look up Lyme disease, see about five, five symptoms, and people are going to believe that because it comes from the CDC and it's completely deceiving. It's lies, it's false, it's untrue, and it's giving information to the public that is just fake. People trust that. And now I don't trust anything that the CDC says because how could I? Something I have realized over the course of my treatment is that people simply just don't understand that Chronic Lyme disease and any illnesses really can impact each person very differently. My mom also has chronic Lyme disease and people sort of compare me to her and say, well, if she can push herself every day, then you can. The hardest, hardest part or hardest time um, was the first year I was sick. It was about six months after I was bitten and symptoms started. Um, I didn't have a diagnosis yet, but... Um, the infection was starting to spread to my brain. I lost my ability to read um, for a while. I couldn't read books. I couldn't follow a plot line. I couldn't follow conversations. I couldn't even follow movie plots to movies I'd never seen before. When it was really bad, I couldn't form a sentence. I couldn't connect thoughts to words. That. That was definitely the roughest time for me, because I couldn't, couldn't really talk to anyone, you know? That was, that was hard. People don't understand how bad Lyme disease can be, how you can get so sick that you're not able to live anymore. Often when I tell people that I have Lyme disease, they ignore it and don't think much of it. Um, but they don't realize how much it's affected my life and so many other people's lives as well. The hardest part for me was when I had to stop dancing. I've been an avid ballet dancer since I was three years old. That was so emotionally hard to deal with. I think I cried like every day because I missed ballet. I wish I knew when or if I would get better. People do not even understand that there is such thing as chronic Lyme disease. It's the government's fault, it's the CDC's fault, it's the IDSA's fault for saying that chronic Lyme isn't real. I just, I, I just don't, I don't understand that myself. These Lyme disease has taught me to appreciate life and to appreciate the small things that I have and that I'm still breathing or my heart's still beating or the small short periods of time that I have that are fun with my family um, to really enjoy those moments. Lyme disease has inspired me to become a physician's assistant. The person who finally diagnosed me was this brilliant physician's assistant and he's I look up to him so much because he is so amazing and he always believed me. 
I support chronic Lyme disease because it's a terrible disease and nobody should have to be going through this. How are people going to learn? How are people going to stay safe when nobody knows about it? You have to wait until you're sick for so long and then you've already done so much harm to your body. So many people suffer from it and yet it's not getting acknowledged, it's just getting bashed down.